I was a legal secretary for many, many years, and some of the hobbies included backpacking, camping, fishing, canoeing, anything to do with nature. I was out of the shower getting dressed, and I was on my way to an appointment. And next thing I know, I woke up in ICU. I had a ruptured aneurysm in my brain. Pretty much if my husband hadn't been home or if he had been outside mowing the lawn, um, he wouldn't have heard the thud when I hit the floor and I wouldn't be here today. It was scary. So Ruth uh, came with a, what we call a bleed inside the brain. It's a subarachnoid hemorrhage and most of the subarachnoid hemorrhages occur uh, from a rupture of a brain aneurysm. Fix the aneurysm by using minimal invasive approach. Um, and placed coils inside the aneurysm. The root then had her standard routine six months follow up. We do that on all patients then undergo an endovascular treatment to make sure that the coils are not reconfigured or they have not compacted. His nurse got back to me and told me um, that I was going to need treatment because there was leakage. The uniqueness of uh, Ruth's aneurysm is that it's located in an area where standard surgery is challenging and explained to her the risks of the procedure. I explained to Ruth also that she would be the first patient in the United States after the SERPA streamline. One of the fluid diverters available to us was uh, cleared by the FDA. One of the most advantage I think of the device is the precise placement, that it opens up all the time, it doesn't twist because of the high mesh density and consistent mesh density, it has a very high success rate. So these things make the, the device very, in my experience, very attractive over other devices. He showed me everything as far as, you know, the imaging, what it looked like, what they did, and explained everything. And I left there like, thank God. I was here. I really didn't have any problems you know, after the strike of flow diverter was put in. You're brought up, especially when you start getting older and you hear of all these things that you're supposed to be doing for yourself, like getting exercise, eat properly and all that. We all fall on the wayside no matter what. Um, this has kind of woke me up. I'm starting to do the things I should have been doing a lot more of but now with a different attitude because now it's I'm not doing these things because I should, it's because I can. Stop and smell the roses, appreciate the day. Be in the moment, do what you're doing and enjoy it. If it wasn't for them, uh, where would I be? How would I be? Maybe I'd still be here, but maybe I wouldn't be in this condition. I would say a great big thank you and they know that I mean it. <laughs>